it bubbles my mind to see the many things that are happening in our financial sector here in Jamaica. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. A few days ago, several investors of SSL, including the famous print star Usain Bolt, were greatly affected, allegedly, by fraudulent activities. The sprint legend suffered a loss of about 12 million US dollars. But how did so much money mysteriously disappear? Can somebody comment down below and tell me? But you know, in our Jamaican term, old people always say they are going to put their money under their mattress. And based on what is going on, guys, I think I am going to start doing the same thing like the old people in light of the many numerous fraudulent activities that are going on in our banks here in Jamaica. Why are the security measures so weak at these high-ranked banking institutions? Listen to me, guys. To open an account at any of these institutions in Jamaica, it requires so many authentication. Any Jamaican can tell you. Just to open an account. You have to get two references. You have to get JP to sign. When you go to the bank, when, 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 when you are there, they have to interview you. You have to get the JP number, proof of address, utility bills. But yet, but yet, many customers have been swindled by bank employees. My God. So how this, did this lady reach so many steps for, for withdrawal and transfer without a manager's signature? How did that happen? But I tell you about these white collar criminals dressing up, looking all pretty like a beauty queen and living lavishly on people's hard earned monies. After people save, work hard, and save their money, then you have these persons just go in and just take your money like that. These fraudulent activities, guys, put Jamaica in a bad light. Remember, you know, we are in that bad light already with all the other shootings and all the other activities that are happening here in our country. And this again, oh my God. Many of these fraudulent activities are done by people in higher echelon of, of society. Guys, trust me. But the Bible cannot wrong. The Bible says, the lover of money is the root of all evil. Our money is the root of all evil. It's like it's two different Jamaica when I look at it. And you know what I observe, guys, via social media? This lady who was living lavishly. From 1997, she working at this institution, you know. And she take her way like a rat and she eat down people account. Eat down. On social media, I look. She was being taken in a Benz or a Audi to be questioned. If it was an ordinary Jamaican the moment your name called the police would come running to your yard and cuff you immediately and throw you in the back of a squad car observe watch Jamaican news and you will see there is no confidence whatsoever in the financial institution at the moment guys tell me which financial institution is safe? Wish there is none that is safe here in Jamaica. Guys, watch your money. 
watch your money thanks for watching like share and subscribe